in 1961, a decade before the Kennedy Center, a lot of concerts were given in high school auditoriums, uh, the earliest concerts of the Oratorio Society of Montgomery County, later of Washington, today's Washington Chorus. Those concerts were given at uh, high school auditoriums in Silver Spring and, and Bethesda. And I was part of the audience, sitting in bleachers and folding chairs on a gym floor, listening to Hugh Hayward lead this wonderful organization in, in Handel Oratorios. I, I started at the 10th anniversary of the Oratorio Society of Montgomery County in 61. In 71, it was formed in 61 and now you're at 60 years. So I go back 50 years with my dear Washington Chorus. I think my favorite memory is um, that Christmas Snowmageddon, where we had, I think, a 10 o'clock or an 11 o'clock performance, um, hours before the Kennedy Center officially closed, and it was sold out. And if we hadn't gone on, um, we quite possibly could have gone out of business. So. None of the orchestra was there, and let's see, 25% of the choir had managed to get there, but the organist wasn't there, and I turned the organ around, put the baton in my mouth half of the time, played, and we did the show. And we, were, we did not have to give any tickets back. Uh, I'd also have to mention our six international tours and all those fabulous concerts in the great halls and cathedrals of Europe. That now we weren't cool. on a concert tour, a famous European concert tour, in which a gargoyle crashed off of a cathedral oh. and crashed onto the pavement just inches from the chorus. And then there was a gargoyle falling, gargoyle falling in the courtyard of another concert with, we're on stage in this huge gargoyle falls from the side, almost hitting the audience. Everywhere we went, there was a story. We were nominated up against the Berlin Philharmonic, the London Symphony Orchestra, the Boston Symphony Orchestra. These are all with professional, all paid choirs. And I thought, well, I'm very flattered to be nominated, but I'm, you know, we're not that league, you know. Being at the Grammy Awards and hearing your name call from the stage was the thrill of my life. I mean, actually, all we all we heard sitting in the big Staples Center was, and the Grammy goes to the wash. By the time they said wash, we were all screaming our heads off. It was a real Cinderella story. In the company of Madonna, Dixie Chicks, Shania Twain, Elton John and Tony Bennett, we the chorus ever reign. Rock or country, hip hop or gospel, all the judges made it clear. Though Santana took eight Grammys, we're the album of the year. In Washington, with irrational exuberance, this is Knight Kiplinger for Marketplace. Place. I remember once we were preparing to sing at Strathmore, it was a Christmas concert, and I was sitting there on the bench and I looked around and I had this epiphany where I realized many of the happiest moments of my life were spent sitting on a bench with other choristers about to make music. This moment right now is the moment that the Washington course was built for. I feel that community every single day. It doesn't feel diminished, it feels stronger now than it ever did. <laughs>